You should not be happy when your dream client complains about your competitor. Hey, it's Anthony Anarino and I want to share a big idea with you or two big ideas here with you really. You should not be happy in early meetings when your dream client complains about your competitor. And when I was a young salesperson, I was always so enthusiastic and excited when my dream client would complain about my competitors. They would bash them in and just say, these are terrible people, they're doing terrible work, they can't get us the results, they're not really trying. They would give me a list of complaints and I would know a couple things when I heard these complaints. One, I'm absolutely gonna be able to create an opportunity here. There's no doubt about that because where the pain is really high and they're super dissatisfied, there's a compelling reason to change and they're gonna give it to me. That makes selling really easy when there's a compelling reason to change. And then I also know that when you promise people that you can fix the problems that your competitor has, it makes it really easy for them to say yes. That's what they're trying to figure out how to do. And I knew I was gonna win. But over time I noticed something. The more willing a prospective client was to complain and the more angry their complaints were early in the process, the more difficult it was to serve that client once I competitively displaced my competitor and took that business. Here's what I learned, and it's always just under the surface. It never really gets shared with you. But I found out that the reason that my competitors couldn't get these particular clients the results they wanted was because the client was unwilling to make changes on their side. So no company could get them the results that they wanted because it would mean that they had to change internal processes or they had to have difficult conversations internally about the things that they were doing that were preventing these results from being generated. And there were all kinds of obstacles that were on the client side and the client would not commit to changing those. And then I also learned that sometimes the client will share with you information on what they want and they'll give you 75% of that information. But the other 25% moves the goalpost way far away from wherever you are. And you find out that at the investment that the client's willing to make, you can't generate those results. And if this hasn't happened to you, just wait, it will. This is what happens in sales when we don't learn the whole truth. And what you find out is that the, if the investment isn't right and I can't get them the results, no one can get them the results because we need a greater investment to do that and they need to make that investment. So I learned a couple things from this that I wanna share with you, two big points. One, don't assume that your competitor is stupid, that their people are bad, that they're not trying to do good work, and that they're really not trying to help your dream client. They are. It's just difficult to get them those results. And that means you're gonna have to be a bigger salesperson to help them make the change that they need to make that your competitor can't help them make. Don't assume that your competitor is too dumb to get the right investment. Just assume that the client's difficult and they're gonna have, you're gonna have the same tough time that they are. And the other thing I wanna tell you is that be very, very aware of prospective clients who are willing to complain early in the process. And the earlier and the angrier those complaints are, the more that you need to be on guard. Because their willingness to complain is not exactly lined up, but it's a very good indication that they're gonna be difficult to work with and that the change probably needs to happen on their side too, and they've been unwilling to make that change. So I think of this as a client maturity continuum, and on one side, you've got clients who are willing to talk bad about your competitor and say it's their fault and totally blame the competitor. And then on the other side, you've got mature clients who are willing to say, you know what, it's really difficult to get these outcomes. We have a tough time getting them from anybody. It's difficult for us to make this change on our side. And when you find those mature clients, things go really smoothly because you're having adult conversations and it's easy to get things done. So don't assume that it's a wonderful thing that your dream client complains about your competitor. And don't assume that the worse the complaint, the better it is for you because it's not always true on the other side. I'm Anthony Anarino. Hit subscribe. Join me here every day and I will see you tomorrow.